This is for you, Virgo. January is the month of the angelic frequencies of the gemstone of garnet. Your birthstone is sapphire. Now, Virgo, this is uh, what we need to do is, is see how the, the gemstones of garnet and sapphire, how they resonate with each other. So we're basically we're using January's gemstone of garnet and also we're using your Virgo gem, uh, gemstone, which is your birthstone, of sapphire. We're going to use them in unison with each other concurrently so that they can uh, generate for you very powerful and potent properties to apply to your life and what er whatever areas that you feel need improvement. And we're going to get to that in our later on in the sections on love and also money and health. Also, at the end of the video, we're going to have some excerpts from our uh, classes and seminars on money manifestation, money magic, which are subcategories to our healing wings of light and some of our other uh, practical magic classes and that kind of thing. And we, you know, ceremonial magic and that. But th this is sort of a, uh, this is going to be higher than practical magic, uh, but that doesn't mean it doesn't have effects in the physical world. It certainly does. I'm Pastor Rosemary, the Astrology Angel. Thank you for joining us. To contact me, you can visit www.readingsbyrosemary.com where we provide you with information on our spiritual consultations, our psychic astrology, Rosicrucian Kabbalah, as well as classes and upcoming seminars. January's Gemstone of Garnet has the light emanations of the astrology archangel Hanael. And your zodiac sign gemstone which is sapphire again it has the properties of light bestowed by the zodiac archangel who is Hamaliel. Stay right here as we give you the gemstones particular to your ruling planet of Mercury Virgo, emerald, fluorite, moss agate and sodalite are the precious stones used to align oneself with the energies of the planetary angel Raphael, who was assigned to the planet Mercury in Kabbalah, who was also the archangel of the east, ruling over the warm, the warm and the and the moist winds that originate from easterly compass directions. He is the divine physician corresponding to the Greek god Hermes Trismegistus and the Egyptian god Thoth, thereby being the Roman god Mercury, applying logical justification as well as reason to his familiar levels of bestowal, healing, resourcefulness, and integrity. So you need to be mindful of your own intentions and your potency when utilizing these powerful gemstones in unison with each other. So again, this, this is uh, going to be very important for you to be able to make sure that when you go ahead and combine these gemstones that you know what you're doing and that you make sure that you know what kind of magical current you're stepping into because that, that's what you're doing. It's like stepping into a God form. It's a little bit different than path working. Path working is more uh, an experiential or diagnostic whereas when you start taking on God forms you begin to then you, it's a receptive form, but you're beginning to do magic in a receptive form when you begin to take on God forms or step into magical currents, allow yourself to be like in the middle pillar ritual where you're allowing that energy to come in, that kind of thing. We'll get into that. That's a little deep Kabbalistic stuff, but we'll get into that another time. Now, the planetary angel Raphael is assigned to the planet Mercury in the Kabbalah. The Zohar states, the first day of the creation is the synthesis of all the other days. For as there is really no separate fractional moment in time, they only formed part of the whole. It is written, God said, let there be light, meaning angelic beings who are emanations from the light on high that shines forth on the world below 
and were created on the first day and took up their position on the right hand of the Holy One. Again, that's from the Zohar. Also found in the Zohar, the fact is that the angel Raphael, who is appointed to heal the earth of its evil and affliction and the maladies of mankind, was created on the second day, again from the Zohar. Now, Mercury is known as the attribute of God the winged messenger found in Acts 14.12. And they called Barnabas Jupiter, but Paul Mercury, because he was chief speaker. Your earth guardian archangel Uriel speaks through to you from your Virgo astrology archangel who is Hamaliel. This is an angelic horoscope transmission from your Virgo zodiac angel Hamaliel who resides over the virgin's mutable earth. And here are his messages for you in love, money, and health. First, Hamaliel's love, rapture, and romance transmission. The yellow green angelic light frequencies of Hamaliel combined with the energies radiating from the gemstone of garnet beautify your relationships with the traditional zodiac sign of Capricorn because of the purifying properties of the gem which calcinate the vortex centers of the heart chakra through the practical support of the root chakra. Ham Hamaliel's uh, money and wealth transmission Finances are on the increase when exposed to sapphire and garnet, causing you to establish what is given to you through position, popularity, and power. The source of all bestowal is the central point of stillness, which is maintained in a constant state of potentiality. The root chakra is balanced with January's gemstone, allowing you to replicate yourself with more responsible trust in your individual capabilities using your personal instincts because they prove to be very valuable at this time. Hamaliel's health and fitness transmission. Health matters, especially reproductive and skeletal organs or structures improve with the use of sapphire and garnet during January, establishing your root chakra, which is responsible for your legacy. Vast healings take place within the realm of the seeker's ability to use the center point of the self from where all life originates, manifesting from a single essential point of nothingness, becoming healed when the verdict is made to allow oneself to be well, for all reality initiates from a need within which then shapes itself into a thought form for the principle of fulfilling the prime desire to heal engage the earth on her terms and become one with mother nature surveying all that you observe each day for you are the creator of your own universe uh, the, the, still, the, the center still point is taught very much in the Tao and in uh, a lot of uh, Eastern religions or even Buddhism. But Buddhism is, is uh, considered Asian, but it's from India. Buddha was from India. Taoist is more Far Eastern. And uh, even, even the good book uh, says, that, uh, we still know that I am God. But one needs to remember that the Tao speaks very much from inver inversion of, of reality where, where the Tao teaches to look where the tree is not rather than where the tree is to understand the tree and this is uh, these, th these concepts were taught by one of our uh, favorite authors Stuart Wilde and we spend a lot of time reading his books and studying his tapes that's Stuart Wilde he's no longer with us unfortunately and that's a loss that we feel very deeply. But he incorporated his spirit so much into helping so many people that he's very much here. And that's not just pie in the sky. He's present. Stuart Wilde is present. One doesn't need to have a physical body when one has their body of light well established. But again, very important teacher, Stuart Wilde. A disclaimer is in order here. High magic should be used with all mindfulness since powerful forces of manifestation are unleashed, intended exclusively 
for entertainment purposes. Remember to chant your divine tone of I analyze or try out the higher aspect of simply meditating on the quality of analyzing and be wise, be well, be all you are meant to be, Virgo. Now stay right here because we're going to have for you a presentation on money manifestation and money magic and we've taken excerpts from some of our seminars and classes uh, that are subcategories to some of the uh, ceremonial magic or high magic and also practical magic interspersed in there, but also uh, from Healing Wings of Light. But these are specifically regarding money, money manifestation taken from those seminars. So stay tuned for that. Don't go anywhere. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pastor Rosemary, Astrology Angel. We're going to give you now a, a little presentation that is about the Emerald Tablet, uh, not the Emerald Tablets, plural, those the Atlantean, but instead it's the Emerald Tablet, singular, of Hermes Trismegistus, attributed to Hermes. And uh, there are several different versions, but this is, this is one that we like. And basically, uh, this is considered to be something in, in our order, we use it to manifest. So you can, the way we do it is we take... Uh, a word like say you want something and you place it into the uh, in the stead of the word it or that because the Emerald Tablet talks about how to take it and use it alchemically to turn the lead of the, e of the ego into the gold of the soul, the, the soul that reproduces itself over and over, becoming the the world soul, the the beautiful soul, the you know the heart of gold, that kind of thing, that kind of thing. Uh, this can be used either spiritually, or it can be used also physically in the physical world to manifest. Now, of course, it's a little bit different. Nevertheless, we have done physical, alchemical experiments as well as spiritual alchemical experiments. We've done a lot of both. And the physical ones we have, have done uh, with platinum group elements to create monoatomics, um, orbitally uh, rearranged monoatomic elements, Ormus. So we, we've done that ourselves uh, physically. So And there, there's a, a union of spirit and also of the physicality when you do these types of experiments. Now, this can be sung or chanted. We're just going to we're just going to recite it for you. It's something we've taken the word uh, money because most people want money because when someone says, "Oh, they they just don't have it," or "This person really has it," what is it? It's it's always money, <laughs> always every single time. So, because that's all that really matters, it's because that allows you to have anything in the physical world, a and it does make people love you, believe it or not. So you can, and everyone knows that, but nobody likes to admit it. And people always say, oh, well, it's not about the money. We don't care about the money. We just want to help you, and here's our product. And so that means I can have it for free. Well, we can give you this free thing, but, and then they'll cost it. You understand how that all goes. <laughs> But we're just going to cut to the chase here and give you a way that you can uh, use the Emerald Tablet of Hermes Trismegistus to manifest money for yourself. And we use this in our order. So this is kind of a deep secret, but we're going to let you in on it because we all need to really get with the program and get ourselves up to speed on, you know, being truthful and honest with ourselves and each other and, and everybody being able to manifest what they need and what they want so that people can can not become hostile toward each other but can instead become loving towards each other because when you have enough to give, then you want to give. When you don't have enough to give, you then one doesn't feel good. So this is how everybody can be more charitable and more giving and how everybody can feel good about themselves by uh, feeling that they can create the life that they actually want for themselves actually create the life they aspire to. So the the being Hermes Trismegistus has that, that was you know in Greece, but Hermes Trismegistus was Enki as the same being and, and and then was also 
uh, both the Atlantean and, and Hermes and also Mercury. And this being reincarnates in every generation, as does the Messiah reincarnate in every generation, uh, all trying to get the, the, the world soul or the, the mind of all humanity, the unconscious or the collective unconscious, to become conscious. And that's why they say wake up. And Christ means awaken or to wake up. So this is our uh, contribution This at this particular time to be able to add to hopefully getting everybody elevated to a higher spiritual level which ultimately elevates everybody also in the physical world. Okay, so here's how we uh, present this. And we're going to also place it uh, in the description box uh, for this video. And if this is, uh, if you're also getting this from one of our other uh, sort of joined on to one of our other class videos or seminar videos, uh, you can go, you, you, you can click on, on the blog that's listed in the description box. It'll take you to, because this will also be included in that. The Emerald Tablet, again, this is going to be, we're going to take what was originally given, and we're going to substitute the word it or that with the word money or financial system, financial dealings, that kind of thing. Okay, here we go. The Emerald Tablet. In truth, without deceit, certain and most veritable, money which is below corresponds to money which is above. And money which is above corresponds to money which is below to accomplish the miracles of the one monetary system. And just as all monies have come from this one monetary system through the meditation of one mind, so do all created monies originate from this one monetary system through transformation. Money's father is the sun, money's mother the moon. The wind carries money in money's belly. Money's nurse is the earth. Money is the origin of all, the consecration of the universe. Money's inherent strength is perfected if money is turned into earth. Separate the earth from the fire, the subtle from the gross gently with great ingenuity. Money rises from earth to heaven and descends again to earth, thereby combining within money's self the powers of both the above and the below. Thus will you obtain the glory of the whole universe. All obscurity will be clear to you. This is the greatest force of all powers because it overcomes every subtle financial dealing and penetrates every solid financial dealing. In this way was the universe created. From this comes many wondrous applications because this is the pattern. Therefore am I called thrice greatest Hermes, having all three parts of the wisdom of the whole universe. Herein have I completely explained the operation of the sun. Again, Hermes Trismegistus. Thank you.